Hello, welcome to this tutorial for assembling the OMC 7006 data buoy. My name is Rob Boone and I'm a sales engineer at Observator Instruments. I will show you the assembly steps. We also have an introduction video for this buoy. If you are not familiar with this buoy, I recommend you watch the, the introduction video first. Okay, assuming that you know what a complete buoy looks like, we will now have a look at the assembly process. When you receive the buoy, the electronics canister is already inside the hull. However, this is only for the ease of shipment. The first step is to remove the canister from the hull. Unplug the solar power connector and remove the two retaining clips. Lift the canister from the hull and place it carefully on the floor. Also put the hull on its side in order to mount the deployment tube. This is done using six bolts. The two longer bolts are intended for the mooring rings. They should be located on opposite sides. First only hand tighten all the bolts and then use a tool to tighten them firmly. Next the battery canister is mounted to the deployment tube. This is also done using six bolts. Now take the power cable and slide it all the way through the hull. But do not connect it yet to the battery canister. Mm. We now use the exosond from YSI as an example. Because some sensors cannot be stored dry, we keep the cup filled with water in place. Obviously this cup needs to be replaced before final deployment, but for now we keep the cup in place because the sensors are, would otherwise dry out. So we will now mount the sensor, the sond, for temporarily only. Connect the sensor cable. Make sure you have properly creased the pins of the connector. Also fit the cable strain relief. Now slide the sond completely into the deployment tube. Note that this is still a temporary mounting. The sensor cable and the power cable can now be connected to the electronics canister. Again make sure that the connectors have been greased properly. When fitting the power cable, note that the other end of the cable is not yet connected to the battery canister. The electronic canister can now be slid into the hull. Note that the cable strain relief is not used. It may be used later to pull the sand out of the deployment tube. Fit the two retaining clips to lock the canister. Mount the GPRS antenna to its bracket. Tighten it and connect the antenna cable. Use vulcanizing tape to seal the connector. This is important because otherwise water will find its way through the cable into the electronics canister. Make sure the tape is pulled tight to prevent air bubbles. Connect the solar power cable. Again the connector should have been properly greased before. Finally the power cable is connected to the battery canister and the buoy will become operational. At this moment the buoy is fully functional and is measuring the water inside the cup. You can now check if you receive the data on your server and everything is alright. You may want to leave the buoy like this for a complete day because you want to make very sure that everything is working as intended. You want to find out now if there is a problem and you don't want to find out when the buoy is out there somewhere. So make very sure everything is working as intended. Also check if the signal light on top is uh, flashing in the right order. Uh, it will automatically switch on in the dark so you can check that. Um, now if everything is working as intended you can bring the buoy to its deployment site. But before you throw it in the water you have to remove the cup, uh, so as mentioned before this is the temporary fix because 
we assume that the sensors cannot uh, be stored dry. If you have other sensors that can be short, uh, stored dry, then of course you don't need this cup and you can immediately mount the sensor for uh, final use. But now uh, we have to remove the cup before we put the buoy in the water. So this video showed you how to assemble the buoy. There's also a manual available that you can download from our website. If you still have questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks for your attention.